Yo, are you too old to become a pilot? Your kids just left the house? It's a midlife crisis. Your job is just boring. Whatever it is, I wanna make sure you take in consideration these five things before making this life changing decision. The job market. The job market is on fire for pilots. The airlines, the corporate flying industry are just dying to get more qualified pilots. They've been talking about this pilot shortage forever, but it's here, it's here now. So if you're gonna get in, get in now. And we're talking about qualified pilots. We're not just talking about people who are interested in flying, but people who meet the training requirements and have the experience to be able to get on with these high paying jobs. In the job market, the retirement age for the airlines is 65. So if you get on when you're 30 something, you still got a 30 year career. If you get on when you're, if you get on when you're 45, you still have a 20 year career at a major airline. Starting off as a second career, you got so much time in the game in this multi-million dollar career. Money. When it comes to getting money, the airline industry is a multi-million dollar career. Even when you first start off at the regionals, corporate job, you're gonna make between $1,600,000 a year coming in, which is a big jump from what it used to be 10 to 15 years ago for entry into flying. When you get on with a major airline or one of the big corporate airlines, you can make hundred dollars to $200,000 in your first few years. As your career goes on, the potential to make $200,000, $300,000, dollars $500,000 is all in the realm of possibility and likelihood. Lifestyle. Are you gonna be able to live the lifestyle of a pilot? There's a lot of excitement with it. The flying is great. You get to travel all over the place. But you're on the road multiple days during the month, multiple weeks during the month. Third hours, ten floor. Ten floor. Yeah, talking about lifestyle. I'm in a hotel now on a trip. But with that lifestyle, when you're home, you're home. When you're on the road, you're on the road. With any job that is as lucrative as an airline career, you're gonna have a lot of time away from home. Whether it's working 60 to 70 hours at an office and barely coming home, being on the road for a long amount of time, or business trips. You won't be able to escape the work required getting into a lucrative career. Now as time goes on, you have more control over it as you build seniority, but it's still there. The cost and time commitment. It's gonna cost you between fifty and eighty thousand dollars to get trained up to have all the ratings and then gain the necessary experience to be even qualified to get on with an airline. It will also take you about two years of training and between two to three years of flying experience and make a lot more money. This requires a good level of financial literacy and understanding because you gotta ask yourself, how are you gonna fund this train? How are you gonna be able to support yourself and your family during this time frame? How are you gonna manage the debt you may have and things of that nature? And these are things that as a second career and more responsibilities, you have to take in consideration. Your family. This is by far the most important consideration when it comes to deciding to make a big life change and a big career shift at this point. Because if you're in your 30s or 40s trying to make a career change, you probably have a family you gotta consider. You gotta ask yourself, during this transition, how are you gonna support them? Have you come up with the financial means to be able to take a pay cut to get the training done and move in the right direction to be able to become a pilot? Uh, is your family willing to deal with everything that it takes to become an airline pilot with a lifestyle? And that's something that I can't decide for you. That's something that you gotta figure out between you and your family if it's worth it to you. And the thing is, sometimes it is and sometimes it's not. So there's your five considerations. What the job market is, what the potential income that you can make is, the lifestyle, the cost and the sacrifice needed, and then your family. When it comes to this decision, this is a decision that you gotta make between you and your family and what you want your future to look like and if you're willing to do the things that it takes. Don't do it blindly and it's not a small decision to make. Kilo Tango, out.